energy sculpting. Yes. Do you want to explain for our <laughs> listeners the, the meaning behind that? With energy sculpting, it's the idea of like, you know, kind of taking the energy ball. So if energy is everywhere, okay, if, if all over the place, you know, I can literally just grab the energy from my environment and I can just focus it with my hands. Okay. But then here's kind of the weird thing. Every form follows function. And I actually got this from studying biology a long time ago. So if form follows function, well, that means the way I shape energy is going to affect the energy. So if I'm like shaping energy into like a cube, that is going to promote energy more of like of a solid foundation. So even if I'm just like meditating with energy, if I'm just like grabbing and sculpting a bunch of energy and creating a cube and I'm meditating on this cube of energy, this will, believe it or not, actually promote more solidity, more stability in one's life. Now, you can also do things such as like, um, like if I'm doing, okay, so I was walking down like a street at night. I was, this is when I was younger and I was adventuring with, I'll just say I was adventuring with some friends and I was maybe in a part of a dodgy part of town I shouldn't have been into. And what I did was I sculpted my aura so that I had like spikes and I had a very, and literally I had like these giant spikes on my aura. I looked like a, I had a giant spiky ball of black energy that no one wanted to mess with. And I literally had some pretty dangerous people look at me. They're like, mm -mm. and they just kept on walking. And it's because even though they were at a distance, we can still perceive energy with our eyes. We can still feel energy through our eyes, believe it or not. And if not from a distance. So the, the way that we feel energy is, of course, very, it can be very specific to people, but everyone can feel energy from a distance one way or another. And as such, just by shaping my, and sculpting my own aura, I was able to do a little bit of a uh, not so psychic defense, more like physical defense and, and stop, you know, you know, really keeping myself safe. So we can sculpt our aura. We can sculpt our energy around us. Um, when I'm doing like, shall we call it psychic surgery? So let's say, so, if, so if energy is everywhere and I was talking about the aura being these kind of the psychic, um, immune system, well, then we can also talk about energetic parasites and how those are created. That's a whole different conversation. That's a whole different podcast. So, but let's, let's just assume real quick that there are these energetic parasites. If there's kind of like the energetic equivalent of the common cold, something one can get. It's like we go, go to a room and you come out of that room and you feel like icky. You just feel not so good. Let's just say you're you might get a parasite or you might just get some negative energy. Okay. Let's just, let's call it negative energy. But what you can do is let's just say that negative energy really gets into you. Okay. And let's say it, it either a parasite's created within you or you did get like a nasty parasite. And I could tell you horror stories. I mean, um, stuff and nightmares. The but what I'll do is I'll horror enough. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to give you nightmares, Rachel. I mean, I, you know, if you want to know the horror stories, I mean, there's, I've written real life horror stories from magic. I mean, your listeners would, would oh my God, I, <laughs> it's a whole different book, whole different podcast. <laughs> but needless to say, it's sometimes I'll have, when I'm doing energy healing, it's not just about like rejecting energy on someone's chakra or something, or they're doing energy healing. It's more that I'm literally going to have to make an incision in someone's aura and I'm going to have to go in there and I'm going to have to remove some stuff. And as such, I will literally... It's very simple, just like that. Like sculpt my fingers into like like scalpels, and I can just do like, and literally I can just like take the energy from my aura. I, I feel like I'm doing the party trick of like where's where's my thumb, or, but um, but literally you can just like grab the aura on your fingers and just extend it, and then you'll feel that you'll feel that you could actually make like scalpels or knives or things like that. Now, these applications, of course, it, the sky's the limit. You're on um, in terms of your it's it's all about your imagination. You're only limited by your imagination. So here I'm sculpting my aura to like make, you know, psychic scalpels to like help heal someone. But, you know, if you're an unsavory practitioner, of course, you can easily just like manipulate energy and sculpt it. And let's say there was someone annoying on on that I did like, you know, if I was being unethical, you know, I could easily sculpt energy and I could just put like a lance through some, someone's throat chakra and they're going to feel very uncomfortable. So there's different things we can do. So to sculpt energy. Now, of course, going into the advanced part of the book, I talk about thought forms and thought forms or servitors. 
they're really like artificial spirits. They're spirits that you can create. And one of the methods I, I do enjoy in making artificial spirits is I'll literally grab energy and I'll literally sculpt it like I'm a sculptor. And, I, and then from there, then I'll, I'll animate it through my intention and my consciousness. So there's lots of great ways you can use energy sculpting very simply. Now, even if I kind of go back to where I was talking about Dr. Savage's, uh, we called it angelic dynamite. So what you could even do theoretically is you could sculpt energy and you could put your intention into it. And for like, like, let's say like, of course, like a healing candle, I'm going to use a really simple, harmless example. Um, I can sculpt that sort of energy. I can literally put my intentions into my hands and then I can take that candle and I can charge that candle with that energy that I've sculpted. Or I can even create an artificial spirit of healing, put that into the candle and, and that little artificial spirit of healing will last for the duration of that candle, for example.